All right, I don't know where I'm aiming this thing. I have to be able to stand and work. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, so we're gonna make some ice cream. Yeah! Try not to film like the super nastiest part of my kitchen. Yeah. No white angle lens on that. It's kind of weird. All right, here we go. We are using the KitchenAid mixer. I already had it out because I'm a. Uh, Pizza dough. And I thought to myself, self, I thought, it's been a while since you used this thing. Might as well try to remember how it works. If I remember right, it doesn't work great. No, I'm just kidding. It works fine. I gotta remember that. So there's like a scrape and a lay down. Let's see. That side scrapes, that side lays down. It's gonna fill there. So I'm 180 off. I'll show you why. I feel my back the whole time. So if you look in here, on that side there, that's scraping and the ice cream's gonna pile up on that side. And over here, it lays it against the wall. So I put this part there out so it has a little bit less chance of getting uh, in the ice cream, I guess, if you will. Let's put these lights a little closer. All right, we should be good. Let's, uh, ooh, we're kind of running out of cord on that one. Let's get some ingredients out. I've already, I've already pre-made the, the mix. It's right here. Eee, <laughs> that's the, that's the custom lid there. <laughs> because the handle doesn't quite fit right, does it? That's all right. We'll leave leave that out for making mess. This isn't too dirty, so we can probably just give it a quick rinse. This is what we were using earlier. This is just the super duper basic, uh, let's give ourselves a thumbs up. Yeah, let's do that. Super basic recipe. I actually have it right here on the refrigerator. It's the uh, two cups heavy whipping cream, two cups half and half, uh, three quarter cup white sugar, one tablespoon vanilla extract. So. <laughs> Did that a few hours ago. Let it all cool back off. Let's get this thing going. Let's see if I, let's see. Uh, let's go. Let's go higher with the tripod. Let's try that. That might be a solution. We get the dog food bowl right there. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All the good stuff off the bottom. So I didn't do a live stream last week, I think it was. Does that seem right? I don't even remember. I feel like I missed one. Let's get a spatula out. What do we need for a spatula? I'll have this dirty white one. That's no fun. My ice cream laying spatula. Let's just use that one. Waste not, want not. Let's get all the edges scraped down for that those last little drips. Right? We paid for them. Might as well use them. I don't know how much a drip costs anymore, but it's probably a dollar. Okay, look at that sink. So today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I got some chocolate sauce. So <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Live on a Saturday? Yeah, no, live on a Saturday. Rain day. Got a rain day. So I just realized I had it out uh, getting warm, but I picked up this the other day. This is quite interesting. We got a half gallon of Kirkland Signature Premium Chocolate Sauce. Now I try to figure out what this is. Well, it's like uh, if you have a Costco, 
they, they sell us at Costco, and it's still good till 2022, June of 2022, so it's coming up on the end of its life cycle, but we'll just say I got a bargain on it, right? Like, yeah, I didn't pay very much. Anywho, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make this ice cream, and then when I, when I put it in my container, I'm going to open this lid up, I'll poke a little hole in it, I'm going to try to lay ribbons in between layering. I don't know if that's going to work. I have no idea. You know, I thought about I could squirt it in there, but I think all it's going to do is just like turn to chocolate ice cream. Um, I've got Snickers pre-cut. I'll show you that right here. I got this. It was one of those one pound Snickers I got for Christmas. And it's all it's all chopped up. It's probably a solid mass now, but that's like there'll be big chunks of delicious Snicker in there. And I'm hoping with this, this uh, chocolate ribbon, it should be pretty good. I tried to look, like I said, I tried to look up and see what, because I don't have Costco here. There's one up the road about an hour away. And uh, let me put this back in the fridge. Well, that, that's what it was right there. Try to get it a little bit cooler so it doesn't like completely melt the ice cream. Uh, I tried to look up like, what is it? I didn't even know what it was. And uh, I found some blog posts or whatever, and people were like, oh, dude, that's the chocolate sauce they put on your coffee with the with the whipped cream. And like, they, they don't sell it. They only, I don't even know. Someone said you can't buy it. I don't know how I got it. Whatever. I got some. It's supposed to be amazing. I'm not going to taste it first. I guess if it's bad, I'll just have bad or something. I don't know. I'm a little faster on that. So this is my first ice cream of the season. So that's pretty exciting. I feel like uh, somehow I need to like get myself in a position to like tell some stories or something. Because this is going to take a while. It's going to be kind of a long stream. Uh, I said I was making pizza, so I got a big ball of dough rising right now. I kind of, do you know, I, I made it, I didn't feel like I had enough flour, so I added more flour, and now I think I got too much flour, I don't even know what's happening. I feel like I'm weighing everything at this point. But I scored some, I scored some pizza sauce. <laughs> Look at this stuff. What do you think? Pizza sauce pantry essentials. I was going to roll the dice on just a couple jars, but it was pretty cheap. And when I was sitting at checkout, I mentioned to the checkout person, like, oh, man, I wish I knew if this was good or not. Because if it was good, I'd buy a whole bunch of it because it was super discounted. Uh, good till, and if you're worried, it's good till 2024, dude. It's like, I got two years. And there was a lady who was checking out behind me. She's like, oh, yeah, that stuff's amazing. I love it. I bought a bunch last week. And I was like, god damn it. So I went back and bought, like, I don't know. Till 2024's worth of a supply of, uh, <laughs> that. Yeah, that's what happened. That happened. So a couple fun things that are happening right here. Uh, it's the debut run of the giant Tovalo. This is the big boy. The two and a half quart capacity. I decided to go with this one because I think I can get my ribbons laid down in. I think it'll be a little bit of a shit show, I think, but I think I can get it. I don't know. We'll see. It may not work. I mean, this may just be a idea I have about how I can, I don't know. We'll, we're going to find out. It's going to be a learning experience for everybody. Let me get it on. I got to remember how this works. It's been a while since I made ice cream. Like, that's a mess. The tub's going to be out. Let's back this off just a little tiny bit. Try to re-aim everything. Okay. So I'll have the tub here. I'll lay that in with a nice light layer. I'll drizzle that chocolate on, and then I'll try to layer on top. I don't know how it's going to work. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting experiment, without a doubt. So, yeah, we'll see. It's 3.40 right now. I got plans tonight, so I got to get ice cream made, get my dough done, cook a pizza, eat a pizza. I'm busy. I'm a busy guy. I'm trying to think what was going on last weekend. Did something. I can't remember what it was. But I'm pretty sure I missed. I missed a couple uploads. It's been shit's been wild lately. Like, got a little bit of break in the weather and get some shit done, but unfortunately what I need to be doing is out in the garden. I need to be gardening. I don't know if I can can I can I turn this around while I'm filming? I think I can. I could do like a monologue while I let things spin away. Let's see what happens. Oh there we go. And see my messy cabinets and all that. Get that beard out just right. So, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything like 
with the with the madness has been going on around here. There's been some madness. Not not too many people are watching right now. I feel like I need to show you something. What am I gonna show you? No, there ain't nothing to show. Nothing to show at all. All right. Well, at least I can go back and forth. I always forget what like. I could do that on live streams, but I can't do it when I'm filming. Like, I don't get it. Let's go back. I need to make a bird a video. That's coming up. Gardening is about to happen. I'm, I'm actually a couple days behind on gardening, but I've been too busy with other stuff to get the gardening going. Like, I should be. I should have gone and bought plants today, but like, we had a big rainstorm come through last night and like washed my driveway out. So I was out fixing my driveway. Well. Normally, fixing the driveway is, like, pretty quick. You just get the skid loader out, and you just, whoop, whoop, and it's done. Well, I'm usually a snow plow on a uh, side-by-side, and it is not the greatest gravel driveway fixing device I've ever seen in my life. So that's good times. Is faster better? Let's find out. Let's find out together. So yeah, I don't know what kind of, uh, I'm going to use that new pizza sauce. I'm going to do pepperoni, maybe green olives. I might do a garbage pizza. That'd be fun. Just, put a little, just throw everything out there. I don't know. Whatever. Anything could happen. Anything. Yeah, good times. I shot some video today. Some upcoming stuff. Oh. I've been kind of waiting for my thumbnail to grow out because I don't want to gross people out with like the, uh, I mean, it's still a little funky on the end, but like when it was all busted in half, it was like, I mean, my hands aren't really model hands anyways. I always got dry skin and like wounds and shit. I don't probably freaks people out, but like I haven't been really filming like the stuff holding in hands as much because I don't want to, I mean, my thumbnail was atrocious. It's still pretty bad, but so I filmed some of that today. I think what else fished the campaign up in my Elder Scrolls Online last night. Came in eighth, eighth overall. I got edged out. I pushed into seventh the day before, and then I, I was busy all day, you know, with like things you have to do during the day, right? And the guy that I, I edged out must have had the day off. He put two hundred thousand points on me, and like <laughs> I was just like, "You dirty rotten rhymer, you scoundrel!" Nah, it's you're not scoundrel. That's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. That stream, I put that up last night. It took forever for that thing to render out. Four, four hours of me playing video games. In case you got nothing to do, go ahead and watch that. Good times. Or right, we're going to slow her down. We're going to slow it down. I'm very excited for some ice cream again. Like, when it's all cold out, I don't really want to eat ice cream. But, like... We've had a couple days where it's been like, woo, that's officially toasty weather, toasty hot weather. I feel like there's nothing to watch here. Let me put something else here. We'll put this in the corner. I'll give you something to watch. Yeah, this is more of me talking. Like, hopefully the microphone works. I don't even know it's working. It's working? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you can see we've got the picture-in-picture picture going on there. Got the ice cream machine. This is the uh, Pro 500 325 Max Watts. And then the KitchenAid, obviously, ice cream maker. It's legit. I mean, it ain't top tier, but it definitely makes the ice cream. So yeah, I'm super pumped to eat this. It's fresh whipped cream. We just got fresh whipped cream. So that's awesome. Kind okay. of the, the ribbon thing. Though, I'm not sure about that. It'll be fun to figure out. I mean, it, like it's gonna taste fine, right? Like it's not gonna be like, oh man, what you're putting there? Unless it's rotten. That would be rotten. It'll be rotten. I suppose it's possible. We're gonna go with no. It's not gonna be rotten. Yeah, so I'm trying to think what else is good. Um, yeah, things are starting to green up. 
It's going to be lawn mowing season here pretty quick. Trees are starting to pop some little buds and it's been so dry. I probably got some rain or maybe more old season this year. I don't know. It's kind of up in the air whether that's going to happen. I have no idea. Uh, trying to think what else. Yeah, I mean, I just doing my thing. Trying to think. There should be some great stories from this week. I had, I had, oh, Jeremy's on. Wait, what's up, Jeremy? What's going on? Make some ice cream, bud. Got that thing spinning, this thing spinning because it's not the most dynamic watching video, just me chatting away. It's going to be a Snickers. What, uh, and I don't know if you know what a Snickers is. I'll assume that maybe you do, but maybe you don't. So Snickers is a candy bar. It's chocolate on the outside, and then there's nougat. I don't even know what that is. It's like white, fluffy, sticky yumminess, and then there's caramel and peanuts all wrapped in chocolate. So I chopped a bunch of that up. It's in the freezer, and then I got some chocolate sauce I'm going to try to pour in to make some sort of amazing concoction, if you will. I got a rain day today, so no, I didn't have to... I wasn't busy doing other things, if you will. So that's fun. Let's take a look in here. Let's see how this ice cream's doing. Let's get in there. Got a shadow. Got a big bucket of, on the ground the dog was licking. Get that out of the way. Okay, here we go. How about this shadow? Can I get this shadow out of here? Get some light in here? All right, there we go. I know Toe Shifter's favorite thing is when I say, there, 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 there. <laughs> Anything for my fans, right? <laughs> so that's just, that's ice cream in a way right there. So the idea is this is frozen really cold. The paddle, well, the one paddle lays a layer down, the second paddle scrapes it off. That's allegedly what's happening right there, uh, to the best of my understanding. That's fun. Good times! Oh, man. But when do you add the ingredients? That's, that's, that's the $100,000 question. Is when do the ingredients go in? Or when do you pull the ingredients out and find out they're frozen like a solid brick? That's what I want. Let's pull them out now. Because these are room temperature when I cut them. There's a bucket of ingredients there. Let's get this open. Okay, there we go. See? Now that's that's a chunk of nougat. With the chocolate on the back side. There's the peanuts and caramel. I think I think I'm just gonna start slowly doing that. Isn't that fun? And yeah, I wash my hands, don't worry. That's how you know it's gourmet, is when it's when, it, when you put the pieces in one at a time. So maybe you'll recognize, oh, I might remember that one later. You'll be like, oh yeah, I remember putting that one in. <laughs> this is all true, I'm not making any of this up. I'm, I'm memorizing all these pieces for reflection later. When I reflect back upon the experience of uh, Setting them for you're free! <laughs> run, run away, little chocolate nougat peanut caramel chunks. Whatever. Now, the one downfall of adding all this is uh, it fills up the ice cream making machine, and then the ice cream machine starts spilling ice cream everywhere. And uh, as you make ice cream, it tends to in increase in volume due to the nature of the ice cream being made freezing and expanding and air entrapment and all that you know so that's good times Ooh, that one's going to be memorable he was, he was chunked it's actually looking pretty good right now Ooh, that's a big one. That's a tooth chipper right there. Remember that when I chipped my tooth on it? I 
cut these up a little bigger last time or this time because last time I made this with the big Snickers, I thought to myself, I wish I could have cut those up bigger. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get my elbow in the way of the camera. Don't tap glass, kids. All right, let's, uh, let's try to clean this edge up a little bit. If you don't get it caught in the mixer, that would be a tragedy. Okay. So that's turned out pretty much perfect, obviously. Most things I do. I just realized I forgot to set the timer on my pizza dough. Let's check the pizza dough, though. How's that looking? It's getting bigger. I think I'm gonna do three pizzas out of this. That sound pretty good. It's rising pretty nice. What thing like 3:30? Maybe I did that. I don't even remember. Whoa, that's getting out of control. That's the way I like it. So when the when the chunks go in, they kind of interfere with the proper smooth laying of the even coat and the perfect scrape. It kind of just clogs. So. Yeah, I'm going to go with, hopefully that thing's clean and when the ice cream gets stuck in there, it's not going to be a tragedy, you know. We could have a tragedy on our hands, it's possible. I mean, that dog hair right there, that's a tragedy. I've never eaten one of those before. See, so I don't know, I don't know. Shows that no one's watching. I got two comments. I don't know what that's all about. Let's, let's reload. Let's reload this thing. Yeah, no one's watching. That's all right. It seems like the on the live stuff, more people watch later than they do when it's live. People must be doing something. Well, I mean, obviously they're doing something. Everybody's doing something. Right? Like, I'm doing this. And uh, whether I live stream it or not, it'd still be happening. I'm kind of letting the cat out of the bag, though, because, like, now people that know me potentially might know I'm making some ice cream, and they might show up and, like, demand said ice cream. I don't know how to handle that. It won't be ready when you're here. Well, just put it that way. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Coming to you live from an undisclosed location. Ooh, I just dripped that all over the place. I feel like I want to knock that down a little bit. Part of the tops are a little more meltier than the other parts. Why are you so melty, Mr. Ice Cream? Get in your home! Oh, yep, making a mess. Now, as soon as we get scientific, I can get I get the I get the thermometer out. I got one around here someplace. You got a new one, actually. I don't know where I put it. Where is it? Here it is. This one's safety orange. What do we got here? That's 30 degrees Fahrenheit in freedom units. Let's check, uh, let's check uh, subject units. C for subject. Negative one in subject. Okay. What's the outside of this thing? That's negative two. That doesn't seem cold enough. Let's go back to free units. And I'm just joking about that. We all know how that works. I mean, it's definitely below. Oh, there's the, got a 29. We got a 29. We got a 29. Okay, that's enough of that. Some of that horseplay. So this is getting pretty full, you know, it's getting up into the, into the beaters. We're going to let that go for a second. We're going to start getting out the, uh, I'm going to slide this back. Hopefully oh, our spinner's not spinning. Get that going in the back corner there. Let's get the, let's get the chocolate syrup out here, how we're doing that. My plan was to 
poke a little hole in this maybe and go with a squeeze move. Does anybody think that's a good idea? What do I got around here for poking holes? Look at this, brand new. Look at this thing. What is that? I'll show you. It's a hole poker. Let's do it. Boop. One hole poked. I think that's technically an ice pick. But. All right. The ice cream's just about done. Let's get the tub out. Unfortunately, I didn't remember to get the tub out soon enough, so that's barely been in the freezer. It's the, uh, the large Tovalo. That's the big boy. Big boy! Which is nice. Not gonna lie, that's a, that's a nice ice cream tub. <clears throat> Here's the poop sheet for it. It's the uh, Glide Scoop ice cream tub, two and a half quarts of homemade ice cream, slender design, perfect scoop, non slip base. Easily fits the tightly packed freezer and freezer doors. Yes, indeedy. Let's do this. Let's go! Let's call that done. Ice cream, you're done. All right. So let's, uh, let's start ladling this in. We're gonna get a, la a layer on the bottom. I don't know how many layers I'm going for because, like I said, I've never, I've never attempted this move before. I've never used this container before. I did wash it though. It's like I was washing it with hot water, and I'm like, oh, dude, this thing's gonna be like a thousand degrees, and then I'm gonna put frozen ice cream in there, and it's just gonna melt. All right, here we go. Kirkland's chocolate sauce hole poke squeeze attempt number one. We're gonna go with the back and forth ribbons. Okay, made a, made, a, made a dollop there. Let's, how'd I do? I don't know if that's right. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably not right. I probably should do thicker ribbons more spaced apart, right? So like, they don't swirl as much, man. I don't know how it's gonna come out. That's the thing, like, you know, like what G.I. Joe says, knowing's half the battle. Like right now, I just don't know. I'm assuming those aren't big enough swirls to like be noticeable. That's that's probably the problem. Let's go with this time. I'm going to get that covered, smoothed out without putting too much down pressure to disturb the previous layer. This time I think I should go slower and thicker. Here we go. Let's watch that whole top just come flying off. Oh yeah, that's the move right there. I'm getting this. I should have tasted this and see what it tastes like. I wonder if I don't even like it. Oh, that's good. That's good right there, kids. <laughs> It's like brownies. Oh my God. What is, where did that come from? Oh, that's, that's a treasure right there. Okay, let's go. All right, so you can see how that turned out. Just did the big rib in there. That way, hopefully there's a little more to, uh, you know, scoop into when that happens, you know? I don't know about my spacing either. I mean, I would say if you're an expert on this, you should be chiming in and letting me know what I'm doing wrong. Like, dude, you're doing it wrong. Your spacing's wrong. Your, your stripes are too, whatever. Otherwise, I'm just straight winging this, kids. Hope and a prayer. Hope and a prayer. We're just going with a hope and a prayer. Okay, let's get that. Go for another layer of swirl sauce. Here we go. One swirl sauce coming up. I feel like I'm onto something here. I don't know why. Okay. 
How'd I do? How'd I do? I feel like I'm not in the shot very good. There's our, our third swirl layer. The swirly bird of layers, if you will. I'm hoping I'm not like just making, well, I mean, I guess if it was just one layer of chocolate, that wouldn't like be the end of the world. But I'm trying to get that, 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 that ribbon effect, you know? Does that make any sense? It should make some sense. Like, I don't want chocolate ice cream. I want chocolate in my ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Is that, I don't know, confusing enough? Does that make enough not sense? Hey, let's do this. Let's make sure I'm filming nothing right now. Good Lord, what are you doing, Elf Shelves? Okay, let's get in here. Let's start scraping some of this down. We can pull this dasher out here in a second. I want to get this last, or this next, I want to finish this layer out and then pull the dasher. I should be able to get one more layer of stripes in and then cap it with what's left in the, in the, in the tub there. Does that sound like a plan? There should be extra room because this is a, I think this recipe is a two quart recipe and this is a two and a half quart uh, container. So I should have an extra half quart of, uh, you know, breathing room for Snickers and ribbon, right? A half quart of extra ribbon in there. <laughs> for the new people, the recap, that's what we're putting in that chocolate sauce. Here's the sauce. Here we go. Oh man, I think I'm a mad scientist right now. Oh dude, that's so perfect. Well, I screwed that up at the end. Okay, so we gotta get this dasher out of here. We're done with that thing, let's get that out. So this dasher is a bit of a challenge to deal with. That has been my experience in the past. Helps to have a little spatula to try to knock the big chunks off. Because it, it holds a lot of ice cream. And it's fun to eat the ice cream off the dasher. Don't get me wrong. But, okay, here we go. We're going for, oops. I always film the back of my elbow. It's one of my personal favorite moves. I could try to undo this over here because this is where it needs to go. Right? That's, I mean, it's going there anyways. So let's just get it on there right now. Get as much as we can. You can tell when I'm concentrating because I stopped talking. Oh, that tastes so good. I'm telling you that. I use that Mexican vanilla that's like, oh, dude. I know it's not 100% pure vanilla, but like, I feel like maybe it's better than pure vanilla. Is that, is that, is that like a crime to say that? Like, ooh, I might get in trouble for saying something like that. But I swear, it's so good. It tastes like what I think vanilla tastes like. I don't know if that makes any sense. Now, see, I always had, like, a fantasy of making, like, some ice cream and putting, like, jam in it. Like, making, like, a strawberry jam in some ice cream or, like, something good. Some good fruit jam. So, you, like, when you get in there, you got jam swirls. Ooh. And I've never tried it. So, this is kind of my first step into the world of can you add it after and make it work? I mean, I know you can. I've had ice cream with the swirl in it before, right? Like, that's not like a, a thing that doesn't exist. It exists. Okay. I think we're going to call that pretty close. Let me let me do a final... Try to get this thing as even Stevens as we can. We don't want the, the good parts getting, getting out. I want to keep those good parts in. 
Now, I'm not saying I'm an artist, but I do play one on YouTube. How about that? Woo! Perfection! How's that look? How we do? We got a little bit of chocolate right there. This hand towel is brand clean new. I'm going to go around here and clean up this edge. Oh, Chuck a Snickers got away. Not for long! Mmm, yummy. I'll try to clear this edge up so when the lid goes on, I don't have to deal with like a sticky lid from like, I don't know, from the word go. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous to do all this, but I don't care. If you're going to be ridiculous, you got to do ridiculous things. Okay. So, so let's, uh, let's put that lid on there the right way. Fun dog hair there. All right, that's done. How about that? Two and a half quarts of vanilla, Snickers, chocolate sauce. Let's get a spoon real quick. I think there should be something in here I can like uh, turn into a bite of ice cream, right? Scrape that down. We're gonna put some sauce on it. Well, I guess you don't really need a spoon when you got a spatula. Except for the fact that it's not coming out unless I squeeze it. Okay, let's try this. Here we go. Mmm. Well, I tell you right now, I did not put enough sauce in there. I mean, I'm sure it's in there, but I don't, I'm not getting like, whoa, there's sauce. I'm getting a really good vanilla flavor. I guess I didn't get that chocolate. I mean, I'm, I'm not, it's, it's coming through as a Snickers, but there is kind of a brownie taste to it. Mmm. I can't wait. That is so amazing. All right, let's put the lid back on that. Should I clean that? I probably should. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That just tastes good. That's just goodness. Should we read what it is? It's corn syrup, sugar, water, heavy cream, cocoa, processed with alkali, non-fat dry milk, chocolate liqueur, Distilled monoglycerides, potassium sorbate, preservative, salt, ezoxum gum, and the natural flavor contains milk. Probably ought to refrigerate that afterwards. I'm not sure if it was supposed to be refrigerated beforehand. But, uh, well, yeah, if I don't make it, now you know why. Oh, God. Stretch that in there. We'll keep it in the old refrigerator. Mmm. Like a lollipop. So that's good times right there. I guess I can... didn't really need to get that out. Yep, I threw that right back in. Let's work on this one. No chocolate sauce in this, but when I need that spoon, I just put away. Damn it. This is half the fun, it's like cleaning all this up. Ooh. He's making a mess. He's making a mess. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. I mean, I could do like lollipop this in, but like at some point, you have to be realistic about <laughs> things. We're just going to call that the angel's share, right? little spillage where my dog is usually she's out here for this aren't you sleeping she went outside today barked at shit for a while that's pretty exhausting hmm <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright. That's going to be about the end of this. Should we get the dog in here to lick the plate? Bird up. You want floor plate? Come. Ice cream. You want floor plate? Come. Come here. Come on, Butchus. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, old Butchus. Ooh, breaking stuff. Come here, bird. You want some ice cream? Ooh, yum, yum. The orientation's wrong. Go ahead, you're free. Yummy, yummy, ice cream. You're free. Mmm. It's been a while since you had that. Well, now people are going to start wondering if you don't finish it all off. <clears throat> she was dead asleep. Like, she's like looking around trying to figure out what planet she's still on. Good girl. Berta. Good girl. Don't judge my dirty floor. I haven't swept today or yesterday. All right. <clears throat> Whatever. Oh, look at that guy. I screwed my beard. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, no, she's just attacking it. She didn't like the camera. She didn't like the camera at all. Because she is just licking a uh, completely licked plate here. See? Just completely licked the plate. Oh, yep. Are you shy? Are you camera shy? Berta. Pretty birdler. What's this? What's this? She hates it. Look at her. You don't like the camera. Are you are you too famous? I'm just gonna film a bunch of crap I don't want filmed. <laughs> Whatever. It's the maid's week off. I know it must be rough having a maid. Whoa. Whatever. Alright. It is 415 Central. I'm about to divide that pizza dough out, cook myself a pizza, and then I'm gonna play some video games tonight. I can't wait. I'm gonna be pew 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 pew. I'll blast you if you're on. Okay. Surprise Saturday stream. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll see. May not. I have no idea. That's the end of this one. Thanks for tuning in. I got pizza to make. I, mean, I, can, I, guess, I guess I could stream that. If, is, is there anybody watching? If you're watching, if you comment below, I may continue with the dough dividing on my pizza. But you have to comment in the next little bit here. And I say a little bit like... 40 seconds or something. Otherwise, I'm just going to do that because. Here, I'll tease you. I'll give you a teaser. Just hold on one second here. There's the dough. <clears throat> There's the beautiful dough right there. We're going to turn that into three balls of dough. Two of them are going to go in the freezer to be consumed at a later date. And one is going to be turned into a delicious pizza this evening. So, there's that. Yeah, I could go for an hour, I guess. God. I make threats about comments, and then I don't even hold them. Well, whatever. All right, here we go. I gotta, I gotta do a little, little reverse camera censoring here, cause yeah. <laughs> look, look, ready for the pizza mess? There it is. Oh, that's that's where the pizza gets made, kids. What, what is spinning here? Oh. All right. So like, I don't have lights over here. I don't have a monitor. Oh god. All right, now we got a light. This other light is plugged in the wrong plug, so it's like it's a distance light. We got a light underneath here. Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're here. Where, where did I put the dough? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so all my uh, dough make it. That's it's rested for or it's been rising for an hour. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna punch it down. Pull it out of that little contraption there. Ignore that dog hair we just saw. Give it a little rejuvenation here. We getting this? You getting that? I feel like I feel like the title of this stream is a lie. 
Nobody mentioned there was going to be pizza dough going on here. Bad boy! Bad pizza! <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Bad girl! <laughs> I forgot. You gotta keep it equal, right? We're not gonna. We're we're just gonna continue. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna continue. So I'm gonna do thirdsies here. So we gotta make ourselves a peace sign, right? How'd I do? Did I get it? Am I close? It's gonna be close enough. Ooh, yeah, I scribbed that. Yowzer! That one's a little small, that one's a little big, that one's pretty good. Let's steal a little bit from this one. Stick him in that one. Let's get these things all mashed together. Mash, 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 mash. I'm gonna stick these in Ziplocs, I think, is what I'm gonna do. I like to have a nice round Nice round ball. I mean, when you're making the pizza, it's not like you're going to be like, hey, this pizza dough seems smaller than I remember. I mean, it's like, well, that's the size of the pizza you're making. You know, so it's not like, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's near the end of the world, but it's not the end of the world. It could be considered the end of the world. Might have to talk to management. Can I speak with the manager about the size of this pizza? Uh, no. No, you can't. Okay, we're going to cook that one up tonight. I think. I like to get them perfect because... Well, I mean, it's, it's more for the one you're doing right now. Because... Uh, if you have your ball symmetrical without a bunch of craziness on the back side, when you uh, let it rise, it'll rise more even. So I got some holes going on here that are making me a little upset. All right, that's tonight's pizza. I got a black towel out. Here it is. Cover that up. Oh, wait, wait. What are you doing? I'm making pizza dough. I made ice cream. Now I'm making pizza dough. So that's for two more pizzas. I've got, uh, where did I put it? Right here. I scored a, a good deal on some pizza sauce the other day. So I'm going to make pizza from scratch tonight for dinner. And I already started making the dough. It's like flour and sugar and water and oil and, uh, I can't even think right now. Salt and, uh, yeast makes that. For who? For me! <laughs> that's what I'm going to, that's my dinner, bud. I'm making dinner. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm making me some dinner. I mean, if I was super out of control, that's going to be ready to do in 20 minutes. I could do a... I could sit here and yammer on for another whatever. I could, I guess, technically. I could, I could yammer on for another 20 minutes and I could make the pizza live on the stream. I'm not doing anything else. I mean, honestly, this is what I'm doing right now. It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to get some Ziploc because... I found a Ziploc is a pretty good way to uh, store the dough. Uh, can I get those things just like sandwich bags? Like, I don't, I don't uh, they're not gonna last that long. I mean, I'll, I'll make that pizza in the next like couple of days. So I'm just gonna put it in a sandwich bag. Like the first time I did the freezing, I was like, dude, I'm gonna, I, I, I don't even know what the hell I was thinking. I was like, I'm gonna vac seal it and all that well the problem is this is like a live organism here it's growing you know it's got yeast in it so like vac sealing it's kind of a waste of a vac seal because as soon as you get it back into a spot where it can like be doing its thing it's just gonna start get out gassing and it's gonna un vac seal the vac seal bags so or like yeah i don't know how i managed to miss that little Gem of a pizza. I mean, I will try to put the air out of these. 
but like I said, I mean, these will be gone probably before next week, maybe? I don't know. Depends how much pizza I feel like eating. I did buy a new giant bag of cheese. How long does it take to make ice cream? Oh, so the ice cream deal, that was, uh, the ice cream's done. I mean, it's made. So what I did is I, I mixed the, here, I'll show you the recipe. Earlier today, I took two cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of half and half, uh, three quarters cup white sugar and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I mixed them up in a bowl and I stuck them in the freezer, or not the freezer, sorry, the refrigerator for about three hours. I did that about at lunchtime, I mixed it up. And that, the refrigerating brings the temperature back down of like the glass bowl that was at room temperature and that's gonna raise the temperature of the, of the dairy products. The sugar was at room temperature and you wanna get that all down cold I mean, ideally you want it at like 32 and a half degrees. You want it as close to freezing as you can. So when you stick it in that machine, like this bowl here, I'll show you this bowl again. And this bowl has a special liquid in there that gets below freezing, below ice temperature. It's like super ice coldy liquidy in there. And that's what freezes the ice cream as it's spinning. That, that paddle scraped the ice cream as it was going around and made little thin layers of crystal ice. And then, uh, it mixes it up into like what was considered like a soft serve, soft serve consistency. And then uh, you, you put it in the, the tub and it finishes out in the freezer. So like tonight I can have a bowl of ice cream easily. I, mean, I can have a bowl of ice cream right now. It's going to be really soft though. Because that machine I've got doesn't go down uh, super cold. Like uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. They make, they make ice cream machines that have like uh, compressors in them like that condense... I'm not a scientist, but like it makes cold. They have, they have, they have ice cream machines that make cold and they have fancy ones. Like I know a guy who's got one where the coil is welded to the outside of the bowl. So that super cooled fluid is touching the bowl as opposed to setting a bowl into a thing that has those because that little bit of a gap makes it that much less cold. So like the colder you can make it, the better your ice cream is going to form the quicker and the smaller, like, like, what do they describe? Like, premium ice cream has, like, really small crystals and, like, there's all this, there's all this nuance. I mean, it's like everything else. There's, like, gourmet and, you know, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I looked into getting the one my buddy's got and I wasn't going to take a loan out to make an ice cream. I mean, that thing was expensive. It was, like, I don't know what the thing cost. I can't even remember at this point. It was a lot. Like... Like, I think you could have bought a car, like a used car, pretty a pretty used car, not a great one, but you could have bought an automobile for what that ice cream machine costs. It'd have been pretty beat up. It wouldn't be anything you enjoyed driving, but you definitely could have gotten to work in a car for the price of that ice cream machine. Uh, so, there's that. I think my ice cream machine was less than $100, my attachment, so it's a little more affordable. And it makes pretty good product. Yes, is the best way to describe it. Got a little extra flour here. I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay. So I did the dough. No more questions. How long is it? I already answered that. So 20... I forgot to tell... I, I, I forgot to check the clock. It's supposed to be 20 minutes to rise. So what am I doing for pizza tonight? We're going to do... Uh, green olives. I guess I could slice the green olives up. I got a big bucket of green olives here. Got some weirdness going on at the top. It's kind of freaking me out a little tiny bit, but not enough of it. Yeah, these were best before, not today, but we're still going to eat them. <laughs> I'm not going to throw a jar of olives away because there's a date printed on the top that disagrees with the date of my calendar. Oh, okay. So let's cut some olives up. Now, I know in some parts of the world, these olives would be considered a, uh, like a crime, probably. But those aren't olives. How dare you? Try one, see if any good. They look pretty good. These are like commercial green olives with pimentos in them. Well, pimento is a piece of pepper, I believe. Like a, 
like a red pepper, if you will. So most of the world are olives have stones in them. Let me see if I can get this out. So what they do here, they take a slice, they, they pit the olive. Basically what happens is, cuts down there, a pusher comes back this way and pushes the olive out the hole. And they take a slice of this right here, I think they call it a pimento. It's a slice of pepper from a pepper plant, like a green pepper, bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, whatever. And then they put it in there. There you go, stuffed olive. What do we call it? Manzala olives pimento stuffed. So we're gonna slice these up for the pizza tonight. Oh, that one just rolled off onto the floor. That's okay. That one's freaking out. So I'll just eat it right now. I'm trying to think all the things are gonna get me today. That chocolate sauce is probably gonna get me. Let's grab a knife real quick. We're gonna use, we're gonna use a, uh, ooh, I'm gonna use this, that one. Let's cut some olives up. I don't have my monitor over here, so I can't see. Yeah, I guess I'm getting it. Do a spinny move is how I get my sliced olives. I slice, slice, slice to about halfway, then I spin it 180. That way I don't cut my finger off. I did cut the shit out of my thumb the other day, cutting a piece of bread. I was trying to cut a thin slice this way, and it went, it went right into my thumb. I was like, ah! It kind of filleted me a little bit, to be honest with you. It was not cool at all. <laughs> And it was like, it caught me. Well, actually, it wasn't my thumb. It was this finger here. It caught me right there, but like that direction. So it like filleted me, which is like, you know, the tip of your finger where you do most of your stuff. Obviously. How else would you do it? That was like right when my thumbnail was about to delaminate off. So I was like band-aided up, all band-aid finger guy. Because it was like this thumb and that finger were just like on band-aid guy mode. Total tragedy. Oh, there might be another comment here. Give me a second. The monitor's on the other side of the room. I can grab it maybe. How do you make pizza dough? All right. So my pizza dough is... Uh, let me get this monitor moved so I can see what the hell I'm talking about. <clears throat> Right here, I'll lead on the secret. Pizza crusts. I have two columns. It's a half recipe and a full recipe. So it's two teaspoons dry yeast, two cups of 110 degree water, two tablespoons of sugar, six cups of flour, four tablespoons of olive oil, two teaspoons of salt. I usually do a little less of that because it's pretty salty. You mix all that up, you let it rise for one hour covered, you punch it, you divide it out, either if you're gonna make three or two giant pizzas, however you wanna do it. Uh, after you punch it and divide it out, you rise 20 more minutes, and you put it in the oven of 500 degrees Fahrenheit for nine to eight minutes with cheese, olives, pepperoni, sausage if you want, hamburger. If you wanna do just vegetables, you put only vegetables on there, you put pineapple, whatever flavor you like your pizza to be, yeah. About eight to, eight to nine minutes at 500 degrees, and you've got a pretty decent pizza. I toss my pizza in the air, like, old world style. You could, I guess, roll it out. That'd be kind of a crime, but... I'm a firm believer of, like, uh, just practice. You know, if you want to learn how to throw pizza dough in the air, make some pizza dough and throw it in the air. And if you drop it on the floor, make a decision about how dirty your floor was. Can you make a breakfast video tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing one tomorrow. This may be tomorrow's video today. Mainly because I don't really have anything good to eat for breakfast. <laughs> I need to go to the grocery store. I was going to buy some eggs, but apparently they killed all the chickens. We don't have chickens in this country anymore to lay eggs. The eggs are like, oh, God. Whatever. I don't even want to talk about that. Like, eggs cost what, like, a tank of uh, fuel costs. And a tank of fuel costs what, like, 
I don't know, a, a, your your rent or your mortgage used to cost, and it's like <laughs> it's like becoming so ridiculous. I think someone said that you get a package of eggs at a big box for twenty something dollars. Twenty dollars for eggs. I mean, I, I like eggs are like a dollar, aren't they? Like for a dozen, maybe or they used to be. Whatever. I was talking about getting chickens. It's like, well, wait till you get the bill for the chicken feed. Like, <laughs> whatever. I mean, I'm. I don't want to complain too much. Did Did you close the cabinet doors? Um. Are you looking at my cabinets? <laughs> I just close them right now. Don't be looking at my cabinets now. That's where I keep my... That's a pretty sad cabinet what I got in there. I got some cookies and some potassios, some potassios raisins, apricots. Yeah, that's a sad looking cabinet right there. That is, kids. <laughs> Whatever. It's not that sad. I've seen sadder. Well, be, so... All right, here's a story. I woke up the other day. I was like, oh, it's morning. I think it must have been last Sunday. That's probably partly why I didn't stream. I woke up to find, like, little black ants all over my kitchen. It's like, oh, well, I mean, just so you know, that happens every single year. Like, every year I get ants. There's nothing I can do about it. it has to do with the way the house I live in is built and, like, the amount of exposed dirt there is in, like, the crawl spaces. Anyways, every spring I get ants, and I never know exactly when it's going to happen, but it happens eventually, and where they usually end up is over by the dishwasher, where I leave, like, the dirty dishes, right? I mean, that's kind of to be expected. And then I usually put some ant traps out, and then the ants go away, whatever. So I woke up last Sunday, and, like, there was ants on the counter that I'm cutting now, and there was ants on the table that I eat at. It's like, there's never ants there. Well, this counter here has the food cabinet right above, and there's ants up in there, and I'm like, dude, ants in my food? Like, what is happening? I put the ant baits out, and I got them. They're gone. It's just like, ugh. I found these liquid, this liquid ant bait stuff. Oh, dude. It takes care of them in a day. One day. They love it. They think it's so delicious, it takes it back, and it kills most of them. Because obviously they come back every year. I don't, I don't know how that all works, but... I mean, I'm not an ant or an ant exterminator expert, but... Yeah, just part of the gig. Kind of live on the edge of... Uh, where the animals and the people start to mix a little bit. I'm trying to think of a bunch of, bunch of squirrels this year. I got squirrels in the backyard. I never had squirrels in my backyard. So I got squirrels. I got a bunch of rabbits. I've seen the rabbits this year. Rabbits are invading. The deer are invading. The turkey are invading. The birds are invading. I woke up the other morning with the birds like. Five in the morning, the bird is like right at my window. My window's closed, and the bird is just like, I think what he was saying was, I think you've slept long enough. <laughs> Time for you to wake up, get out of bed, because I'm going to stand here and sing this song until you decide that laying in bed not sleeping isn't worth it anymore. Yeah, that, that actually happened. I like birds too, but I've never had one stand right next to my window and just scream bloody murder right in my, yeah. I usually sleep through everything. But not that morning. All right, so green olives check. The pepperoni is already sliced. I don't know. I might have to open the new bag of cheese. I did buy a new bag of cheese uh, yesterday. I got a big five pounder mozzarella. But I think I still have some of the old mozzarella or the old bag, or the previous, let's call it the previous bag, I don't want to say it's old cheese, it's the previous bag, because there is some old cheese in there that I can't eat, I just need to throw it away, because it's turning into a science experiment, which old cheese does, on occasion. Okay, we got to an hour yet? Oh, we're at an hour. I believe this stream has come to an end. Oh, hey, hey, what's happening? Holy... Oh, I mean, all the cabinets are open. Stop looking at my cabinets. Jeez, the wheel. I just spit. I just spit olive out. Calm down. I am calm. All right. So it's 4.30. 
We'll try to cook that pizza. What time am I cooking that pizza? A little before five? Ooh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. And then I'm gonna play some video games. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like tomorrow. I need to work in the garden. I was gonna see if I could stream from the garden. That could be fun. Do some garden streaming. Oh yeah. But whatever. Most of you will see this on the upload. Those of you that stopped by, uh, Toe Shifter and Jeremy, I appreciate it. Kind of a surprise. You didn't know I was gonna do this type of deal because I didn't either. I was just gonna do this. And I thought, you know what? I'm doing it anyways. How hard is a tripod and some lights? Is there breakfast tomorrow? Yeah, I'll probably do a breakfast. I don't know what I'm gonna do though. Like, let me see how. I might do pancakes. I've eaten all my pancakes up, so that's. Uh, I wonder if I have any sausage. I might have some sausage links. Maybe use sausage and pancakes or something. I have no idea. I mean, a lot of it determines how clean the kitchen is. Like, you can't see right now, but like, I shove all the crap out of the shot of the camera. So, like, everything that way looks like a bomb went off in my kitchen right now. I'm not even making that up at all. Just like, it's just disaster zone. I don't really like to film the disaster because I realize I'm the only one that lives that way. Everyone else is perfect. It lives perfectly. It does their dishes right on time because everyone else is perfect. <laughs> oh, it's, I just stepped on a plate that was on the floor and the dog was looking. Okay. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. Say hi to everybody that knows me. Make some ice cream. Make a pizza, dude. It's easy. It's so good. Yum, yum. All right. Later. Peace.